If you want to write integration tests in Flutter, then look no further. We are going to show you exactly how to write integrations like a pro using the robot pattern. So let's dive right in. In order to write integration tests, we must first learn what integration tests are. Integration tests are used to test different modules of a software as a group. They are also known as end-to-end, E2E tests. In our case, we will be testing two modules of the app as a group, the login module and the home module. We intended to make this a code along tutorial, so we have uploaded a template as well. You can find the link in the video description. You can clone the project and implement integration testing step by step with us. If we reach 700 subscribers on YouTube, we will release the complete source code with both integration flows for this on our GitHub. Before we get started, let's have a look at the app we are about to write integration tests for and the pattern in which we will implement those tests. Our app is called the 1234 app because with these magic numbers, you can gain access to the homepage. But if you enter wrong credentials, a snack bar with the message wrong credentials will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Robot pattern is a way of writing integration tests where we would perform the same actions through our robots as a normal user would. This ensures that we are focusing on what we are testing rather than how we test it. It also makes our code more readable and reusable. Now that we have a general understanding of integration testing, the app and the robot pattern, we can start writing integration tests. Step 1. Import the integration test package. Step 2. Create login robot. Create a folder called integration underscore test at the root of your Flutter project. Then create a folder called robots inside of that folder. All our integration test flows will become children of the integration underscore test folder, while all our robots will become children of the robots folder. Now let's create a robot inside the robots directory and call it login underscore robot dot dart. We will implement the login robot class inside this file and it will be responsible for interacting with the test framework and performing the same actions a user would to test the login screen. So we can now go ahead and add the widget tester dependency to our class like this. Step 3. Analyze login page. Take a look at the source code. You will see many widgets assigned with the widget keys class. These keys are assigned to better identify widgets for the test framework and will be advantageous when looking for widgets in our tests. Step 4. Implement login robot. Add the following methods to login robot class. Verify. We'll test whether we are present at the login screen. Enter password, enter username, and tap login button are self-explanatory. Verify error. This is used to test the snack bar that comes up when we enter wrong credentials. Step 5. Create unauthenticated flow. This app has two major flows. One flow is the unauthenticated flow where the user is unable to log in. The other flow is where the user can authenticate with the correct credentials. To keep this tutorial short, we will be focusing on only the unauthenticated flow. To start implementing it, Create a file called e2e underscore unauth underscore test dot dart in integration underscore test folder. Start by creating a main method. Then ensure that the integration test framework is ready by calling integration test widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized. Once this is done, we can call the login robot methods to quickly implement our test flow. Notice the important line 3. We are intuitively calling the my app constructor on line 14 so that we can pump our actual app. Step 6. Run the test. By pressing the run option, you can run the test and watch it pass. You have successfully written code that will make your app more robust. A few takeaways to keep in mind. Integration tests are used to test different modules of a software as a group. They are also known as end-to-end, E2E tests. In robot pattern, we write robots for each screen and use the widget tester to write tests similar to what a user would do. After implementing robots, we can easily create complex flows since all the implementation is abstracted inside the robots and we only call their methods whenever we need to execute a certain action. There is one more flow left which is the authenticated flow. We would like you to create it and send us a DM on LinkedIn once you're done. We would love to see your solutions. If you like the tutorial, please follow us here and on our socials.